hey guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be doing the scrollable tiktok video feed and also we'll have a bonus feature of double tapping your videos to like so please subscribe leave a like on this video and share the video with your fellow developers if it helps you build your project so let's get into it now the first thing we're going to be doing is to install expo av package And we'll just wait for that to install. And after that is installed, we will have to set it up in our app.json file. We'll have to look for plugins and set it up there. And this is how we'll do that. And we'll paste this here. I would leave the repository for this code in case you need it. This place will contain the name of your app when you're asking for the permission. So now let's see our app.csx file and we can just clear what we have there. And also clear this off and now we can create our components first we we'll have to create a folder called components and another folder called strings and in the screens folder Oh, this is a file. And in the screens folder, we'll create a file named feed.tss. The next thing we can do here is to get our videos that we'll be using and if you look at the assets folder here i have three videos video one video two and video three all in mp4 format and i'm going to import them in my feed section first i'm going to render my feed inside my app.css and i'm going Now I'm going to require my videos inside my feed components. And I'm going to create an array to put all the videos. Next, we are going to return a flat list in our feed component. Now we'll be creating the render item, the unviewable items change and viewability config at the top here.
So this function is called whenever the user scrolls to a new video. So it checks which videos on the screen and enables it to play. So once about 50% of that video is shown on the screen, it plays that the particular video and pauses all the rest videos. That's what this function does. Now let's define our render item function. Now we are defining our video component and we are passing the video URL I for each video that is rendered on the screen. So we'll be creating this now so we can be able to use it here. We'll go to our components folder and create that file. And now we can import it from here. Now we'll accept two parameters in our video component which are the video URI and if the video should play. Now let's create a ref for our video and a use effects to decide if the video should play or not. Now we can add our video which we imported from Expo AV into our components 